Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this system of equation where x square plus 3y is equal to n square and y square plus 3x is equal to n square. We have to solve x and y in non-negative integers. So let's see how to start. I'll start from first equation. So what I'm going to do now, take x square plus 3y and our aim is to find a perfect square. But I'll try to put something inside this bracket so that I can cancel some of the term this side, either x square or 3y square. So you can take x square plus something or you can take y plus something. I'll take y plus 1. Why I have taken m is equals to y plus 1, you will see in the next step. This is very important step because I have chosen y plus 1 in such a way that it will cancel some of the term and will help us to complete the square. See, this is y square plus 2y plus 1. Now, if you see carefully here, this 2y and 3y will cancel each other so you will get x square is equals to y square minus y plus 1 now what i'll do i'll multiply 4 to both sides you see why i have chosen uh, y plus 1 now you can guess so that i can uh, complete the square method where this uh, term inside the bracket after multiplying 4 and basically this will be 2x square is equals to this is 4y square minus 4y plus 4 and you know that how to do it this is 2y square minus 2 into 2y and there is 1 so I'll break down this 4 into 1 plus 3 this is 1 so 1 square now I can complete the square method 2x square is equals to now 2y this is minus 1 square plus 3 so now this becomes difference of 2 square is equals to 3 and you know how to simplify this this is 2x plus 2y minus 1 into 2x minus 2y plus 1 is equals to 3 and because 3 is being a prime number we have only a limited number of solution here and this is going to be 2x plus 2y minus 1 and 2x minus 2y plus 1 is equals to 3 1 or minus 3 and minus 1 these are the possibility now adding these two equation gives us 2x 2x 4x these two will cancel so 4x is equals to 4 or minus 4 so x being either 1 or minus 1 so finally x is plus or minus 1 now we'll repeat the same process with second equation that is this one let's see what happens so y square plus 3x is equal to some square so now I'll take x plus 1 to cancel some of the terms in right hand side so this is y square plus 3x is equal to x square plus 1 plus 2x and same thing will uh, happen x square minus x plus 1 and multiplying for both sides 2y square this is 2x 
प्लस वन स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री एगेन डिफरेंस सो दिस इज समथिंग लाइक दिस विल हैव इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री सेम एक्जैक्टली सेम प्रोसेस सो टू वाई प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री सो टू वाई प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन एंड टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स माइनस वन दिस इज बिगेस्ट वन सो दिस वन इज थ्री वन माइनस थ्री माइनस वन दीज आर द पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन सो नाउ एडिंग देम विल रिजल्ट दिस वन प्लस दिस वन इज फोर वाई एंड दे विल कैंसल सो बेसिकली फोर माइनस फोर एंड सेम फ्रॉम हियर विल गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू प्लस और माइनस वन लेट्स ट्राई सो इट वॉज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वॉज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल्स टू वाई प्लस वन स्क्वेयर एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन वॉज वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स प्लस वन स्क्वेयर नाउ टेकिंग एक्स एंड वाई बोथ आर वन वील हैव वन स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री इंटू वन इज इक्वल्स टू वन प्लस वन स्क्वेयर विच इज True. By the way, four is equals to four, and second one is also one square plus three into one is equals to one plus one square. Yes, this equation satisfies our value. So taking minus one will also do the same thing. Everything will be zero. So either you see here, x is equals to y. Both are equals to plus or minus one. so finally i can say m is equals to we have taken m is equals to i can say finally m is equals to n is equals to 2 x and y both are plus or minus 1 thank you for watching we'll see next time